Yo, what up guys? It's Lord Rea here. Hey, how is it going? So before I start this video, I just want to make a quick announcement as like every cringe YouTuber on YouTube ever. Um, <clears throat> like I noticed in my previous videos that um, the approach how I, I wanted to create videos and um, put them out on YouTube and how I filmed it was kind of not myself like i i, I don't know what happened I, I wasn't just myself on these videos what i noticed rather more was that i actually like changed my personality and tried to like hype something up for some reason and i don't know why i think i caught something wrong from some weird youtubers here <laughs> but um in general i just want to stay like change the style and just come up with more like original and like content that is actually like for myself from and show some personality of mine and not just like um create content based on um, hyping some stuff up and like ignoring what i actually want to put out and what kind of feelings i want to provide so i won't be doing like fast videos or so i, I really want to like um create some content in the in, in the more quantitative side means um I, i'm gonna give a shit on quality for a while not on the quality of text or what i'm going to say but more on the quality of uh, i don't know adding some memes to some giga chat here some giga chat there some i don't know uh, dio there and some ricardo milos dancing in my background i, I don't want to do this shit um, if i did it right now then it's just because uh uh, for for the last it's just for the last time okay no not not forever um i really want to take this video seriously talk about topics um more more in de into detail and um actually want to go into a slower place and also like get some more of, of my tiktok followers here on youtube so be curious because today we're gonna start producing original content by me lord Rea, your homie talking about crypto and also about financial advisors i would say or business mindsets uh yeah we're gonna talk about this and especially um really focus just on crypto and like on entrepreneurship and so on um i don't i actually thought about making a gaming channel out of this here uh, in the first place like when i actually had the idea to start up a youtube channel but what i thought to myself was like hmm like the only value i could provide to you guys would basically be entertainment and yeah i know and entertainment is not underrated i created much entertainment content when i was a meme marketer um and and have my own marketing agency and produce content for other companies but Currently, I'm, I'm not like um, at the mood to do this, so I'm also not going to force myself to do this. This is basically a hobby for me. I don't need to produce YouTube. I'm doing it because I honestly just want to build like um, my own brand and um, share share stuff with just more than just my family and friends. So yeah, let's do this. And also because I uh, want to provide you guys some cool value um in, in in form of knowledge and also in form of some advices that i can give you from experiences so be curious we're gonna start us now for real i'm not gonna do any cuts on this because i want to make this video as authentic as possible <laughs> okay let's get right on um, i'm having my laptop here on the side so i can have a look on uh, what i'm actually talking about so yeah let's do this Today, I want to talk about like uh, multiple options you have when you want to start out investing in crypto. So most of you guys think, okay, man, if I start about crypto, I'm going to think about Bitcoin, Ethereum, all these like huge, large coins. But well, there's more into it than that. There are actually many options you can take to start investing into cryptocurrencies, into blockchain technology. And also, we're going to talk about a little bit about NFT investing and what i think about it and yeah 
we're gonna do this based on some criteria. Again, I know you maybe you don't like criteria, but I think it's pretty important. And I would say because it's about an investment today, we're gonna talk about only on two criteria that would be risk and average profit. Okay, average profit, not exact average profit, but like um, I would say like a range of average profit, that's profit that you can like expect out of your investments, I would say. It's better formulated. <clears throat> Let me drink some water before I start. Very, very dehydrated. <laughs> okay, boys. <clears throat> Let's go. So first off, we are going to talk about the first option in this video, and that would be our holding portfolio. What you can do if you're not very knowledgeable and you don't want to spend too much time lingering about, okay, what shit should I actually invest in? What should I do? What steps should I take? A holding portfolio is basically like the option for the lazy ones. I am one of the lazy ones, basically. <laughs> so um, when when I first started out, I was in, uh, out in crypto currencies. When it first got introduced to me, when I was at my workspace, typically me sitting there on my desk, legs up like this, watching some anime shit <laughs> while others are working. Yep, that was my work life basically when I started out in business development, in like uh, when I was like nineteen years old, eighteen, nineteen years old. And I'm basically 21 right now, so no, no assumptions, please, no assumptions. Um, so what I got, when I got introduced into crypto, I was like pretty unsure about what it was first of all. So I will first of all actually look at um, what exactly is blockchain, what the hell is Bitcoin, what are these cryptocurrencies. First tip of the day is just basically make notes like learning about what you are investing in that would be the first advice don't invest blindly it's it's advised actually now on the edge because i actually don't want to talk about like mindset and stuff and more about options but well take it into consideration other thing is <clears throat> like if you have a holding portfolio um, I, I would call it more a hodling portfolio just because of the bit boys that are going to watch this video maybe uh, i would say not only you are going to invest in one coin, it would be pretty smart if you do it like in an actual stock portfolio. So you take some tokens, um, for example, you say, okay, I'm going to invest in Bitcoin. Okay, biggest coin that is out there with the biggest volume. Yeah, we're going to take Bitcoin. Then you choose, okay, man, I'm not just going to take Bitcoin. I'm also going to take Ethereum. I'm going to take some Solana, Polygon. I do recommend Polygon, by the way. Um, no financial advice. <laughs> so Polygon and whatever else tokens you want to invest in. So you have basically like... Um, 20 tokens listed on your portfolio that you think are great projects that you already um, like did your due diligence on looked at everything every aspect on them and then make a portfolio out of it as expect please to invest um, not the small amount in it let's say you invest like 10 to twenty thousand dollars in it which is pretty reasonable i know for some of you would maybe start it out just by investing but for voodoo's who actually have that kind of money saved up it is not a bad idea to actually like make a diverse portfolio not just only crypto also like stocks real estate like diversifying your portfolio is one of the most important things and diversifying the diversified portfolio is a much uh, bigger thing that you should do what do i mean with diversifying the diversified portfolio it means basically you have stocks real estate and crypto um it's it more implies the diversified on the diversified portfolio more implies on like um stocks and um, crypto or whatsoever what is related to it so you basically buy multiple stocks so you have lower risk in that case that one goes down one goes up yeah it's like basically you create your all s p 500 wait a minute the telephone is ringing oh shit okay where was i uh uh first cut off of, of the video we're gonna cut it out sorry for the first cut let's go again where was i uh oh yeah 
diversifying the diversified portfolio. So it more likely includes like in asset time of cards like stocks and um, cryptocurrencies. Means um, basically you want to diversify your portfolio in a way that you create your own S&P 500. For the ones who don't know what S&P 500 is, you have some homework to do, please research it. Thank you. And yeah, that's basically the whole thing that diversifying your portfolio means. Um, other thing is holding it means actually holding it. So just don't because of market impact sell your like um, coins, tokens, stocks or whatsoever. It's like retarded to do it, especially when you sell your crypto at a low price and buy back when it's high and then sell again when it's lower. Like this, this, um, this uh, Vojak method, buy high, sell low. <laughs> it's, it's retarded, but people still do it because of the market psychology. Like change the psychology to the way that it actually makes sense. Like in crypto, stocks, in whatever asset you invest, think logically before you invest. Means please have some common sense in your head and make wise decisions based on logic though and not emotions like keep your emotions out of it so you hold your portfolio what do i know um for 10 years cash it out i'm going to tell you i have like this table here right here that i created you're going to earn at least five to six hundred percent at least an average probably thousand to thousand four hundred five hundred percent on average, it could be much higher, but I will say at least this is the amount of range where you can expect these are going to be my profits. Keep that in mind and please make wise decisions. So following up, gonna talk about staking. Staking is actually pretty, pretty good for people who want ultra low risk, ultra low risk, but a good APY. APY means average um, per percentage on, on per year. Okay. Um, let's say you invest in a good Cardano portfolio, uh, Cardano staking pool, and you get about, um, let's say, 4.1 4 or 2% average per year, uh, average per month. So if you calculate it per year, it would be around 50, 50 to 51% per year. Okay. And then also token appreciation. So if this token that you're going to stake on, be it Cardano, be it Solana or whatsoever, even if it's Ethereum, if it rises in price, you're also going to be in profit. But what, there's one catch. Staking like um, in the most serious pools only works if you have um, a good amount of start capital. So if you're only starting out with crypto, I wouldn't advise you to start out with staking. But if you say, okay, man, I have 100,000 in stocks, I have, I don't know, 500,000 in real estate, and I want to invest again 100,000 into cryptocurrencies because I want some passive income, APY, uh, so, yeah, it's, it's a good idea then, yeah, to do this. So. I would actually go in for staking rather than like holding for 10 years just to make more profit because you already have like income and you just want to like make more money with your portfolio, not sitting it around. It's a great idea to do staking, in my opinion on. But it's not a great idea to only rely on like cryptocurrencies um, in general. Okay. So don't like invest all your life savings in a staking pool just to realize that it's gone forever or whatsoever. It can happen. It happens with everything in life. Nothing is like without risk. Be conscious about this and mindful. So keep calm. Everything is cool. But remember is, remember this investments always have a risk. So be aware that every penny that you invest is not going to be 100% sure. It's just either way, even if it's like a portfolio that you hold for 10 years, even if it's a staking pool or whatsoever. Or the next option, for example, this also has a high risk, actually. That is yield farm pools. What are yield farm pools? So basically, what you're going to invest in is a pool in a DeFi space that um, 
basically gives you a credit to invest in other pools that generate more like money. <laughs> It's a little bit hard to explain. I should definitely like make another video about it and um, probably have to correct myself after that. But you can imagine it like this. You basically invest money in it. You get credit on your money so you can invest more money in it. And all of that, you will get a huge amount of money. But it is not really, really safe. It actually has a good high chance that you're going to lose your money. That's why you're going to give a credit to you. <laughs> Um, imagine it like this you're gonna um, let's say the pool is your car and uh, like let's say the pool is your garage and you're gonna buy the ticket that would be like your luxury car that you buy for one million dollars on top of this one million dollars because you enter this pool you're gonna get like another four million dollars because just you entered the pool and you can make more money out of it and then guess what? You're gonna make more money than any other method in this, uh, in, in any other method, method ever that that you that they're gonna tell you about today. Means you can expect at least four, like a four x or fifty x on your, like on on your investment. So means you're gonna get I don't know after this like I would say like one year period I don't know probably like. Um, 4.3 million out of it about from this 1 million investment or even 50 million out of it if you are lucky and the pool like generates a huge amount of money so conscious about it it's risky but it's a really great way to make some good money on the short term it's it's a really cool option especially for those who have that kind of money of money again and you can already see on this pattern that i'm pointing out if you have that kind of money you see, like these TikTokers on, like these TikTokers and some YouTubers and like in general, like all these social media gurus that talk about like I'm gonna make you rich to one, from zero to one million. Guess what? They didn't make it from zero to one million. You probably put out some other income on this, so you can they could like actually make some million out of the million and not like less out of it. Um, you you know probably understand by now so you won't generate any money without money that's how the world works you can get from zero to 100 with no money at all there are some methods some of many of them are scammy some of them are right i'm not going to say that there aren't these options that lets you generate money out of nowhere but it's pretty hard so if you're like at zero i would probably refer like say get a job open a business like i did or like do something to actually generate some income before you invest your whole life savings into something that's not going to generate you any money in the end and so yeah be careful about this because only money going to generate your money but sometimes the money that you want to be generated into more money could be lost complicated i hope not <laughs> so let's go on with a mysterious topic that many of us don't want to acknowledge. This is the magical land of the SUS NFTs. Why am I calling them SUS? Many NFT projects are scams. Many productive projects are rip-offs. Many NFT projects are frauds. No, actually, actually completely the opposite. Just people are stupid that buy an NFT project without doing their fucking due diligence. Even if it's a, if it's a goddamn uh, a porn star like Lana Rose that put out her own um, NFT collection, like who the fuck cares? Like she could rip you off whatever she wants, but it's your own like stupidity that you simp for her and even buy NFTs from a fucking porn star. Like like see the logic you are buying basically nfts from a porn star like what do you expect she's already ripping off people on porn apps. she's also gonna rip you off uh, for, for, for p pussy pictures on fucking omc i don't know so be conscious about this like it, it's it's not hard to like um actually like leverage out of your portfolio with minimizing ultra high risk the only thing that you like have to um, like fight is your inner inner demons basically yeah I'm, I'm talking about inner demons demons and these inner demons are basically to 100 percent most of them your emotions in every investment decision i talked about before your emotions are going to hold you back especially also in nfts because they're going to say thousand percent up in two days 
If you're stupid and if you are like ridiculous, you're going to believe it. Think logically, not going to happen, man. I'm going to promise you it's not going to happen if you think logically. If you see NFT projects, don't invest too much in it. I would like um, actually had like a limit for this. It's like pocket money for me to invest in them. And if I invest in them, I wouldn't like spend my whole life savings in it. Um, for example, like projects that you're going to know that's going to bring you a utility. For example, um, passive income projects, the um, ga um, things blockchain games project. And also like projects that give you utility like board ape yards where you have access to an actual yard to party around or whatsoever. That are NFTs that are going to bring you value. But how are you going to find them? Much research, much due diligence and a lot of time. It's not going to be an, okay, I'm just going to buy these NFTs and yeah, I'm going to hope for the best. No, you have to do your due diligence and invest in the right NFTs. Of course, there are going to be some luck stuff that's gonna, that are going to tell you, oh, I invested in 50 NFTs, four of them made me a millionaire. Yeah, that can happen, but it doesn't mean that it's going to happen to you. Like, I would rather go the smart and hard, a little bit harder way than go the stupid way and the fast way. I hope that makes some sense. So risk and NFTs, of course, it's high. It's not low. There are many projects that are going to rip your money off. But average profits, one to one thousand or even higher X. I don't know, man. It's just like it's it's high. It's high. You cannot doubt that. So make what I can out of it. Now, ETFs. This is a topic I also want to talk about today. ETFs. Oh, before you mention uh, why I'm looking behind uh, the camera, I was just looking at the camera's also recording. I don't want to do it a second time. So <clears throat> let's talk about ETFs. Um, it's not related to crypto. It's more related to the stock market. Um, I know that many of you are going to say, I want to choose the cho safest way ever possible. But I'm going to tell you it's ridiculous and you shouldn't do it. Just for a simple reason. Inflation is rising like crazy nowadays. We are at the, like where I'm living at the 7% inflation per month. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not lying or something to you. Per month. Like in February, the inflation was 7% at Germany. It is this crazy. Like... Imagine at the end of the year, we have like a, I don't know, maybe a 10% inflation. We don't know how this year is going to go. And yeah, we're going to get like wrecked, man. Like all these ETFs, uh, ETFs are not going to outperform the inflation. If you can't outperform the inflation per year, you're basically investing in nothing. You're basically investing that your money is still worth the same as it was last year, but you're not making any profit out of it in the long run. It's just what it is. So if you think about your investments in the long term, then I wouldn't recommend you to invest only into ETFs. They can be pretty good, but especially in times like these where everything is becoming much more volatile, I wouldn't recommend people to go into ETFs like completely. It's retarded as hell to just invest in ETFs, especially if you go to a local bank and invest in ETFs. They're going to give you 6%. Guess what? The 6% are nothing much worth anymore. Like compare it to crypto earnings and compare it to real estate earnings. You're never going to, uh, or even stock performances from like different stocks. You're never going to outperform stocks, crypto and real estate whatsoever with ETFs. Like I know many people want to have the safe way, but most times is the, the safe way is not the safest way at all. It's actually like the death way that you're going to cross. And if you don't take action at all with your money, then I think you're going to be not in a death, that, that, like an end way or like a, like a junction with an end on it. You're going to be at the point where only a cross is going to be there, no way out of it. You're going to be caged and you're going to say, oh man, I missed out on so many opportunities in my life because I hated on it. I had so many doubts on it. Rather than actually doing due diligence and analyze, okay, what do I have in front of me? So that's going to be my last advice for this video. Like look at what you have, look at the options instead of like denying everything and make some own due diligence on that. I'm gonna list the uh, options right here again on the stream right now. 
uh, on the stream uh, on the video here right now and i hope you can make something out of this of this knowledge and this information that i just gave you i'm probably going to make um, another video about um, a little bit more about mindset next time and then again about crypto i will actually like work out the plan now that it's going to say hey Lord Raya, you cannot just be a lazy asshole and don't produce any videos because that's what I'm currently doing. I'm honest about this. What I want to do is actually produce at least two videos, means one crypto video, one analysis video per week. Go from there. It's going to be more quantity than quality. I'm sorry for that. I'm not the best video editor. I'm basically recording from my iPhone because I don't want to like buy extra buy extra camera when my camera is recording on 4K. So yeah. Don't blame me for that one. And yeah, I, I'm probably going to look if this YouTube problems goes, uh, this uh, this YouTube project goes anywhere. I will probably look to hire I don't know one or two video editors. And you're gonna say, hey, that's it's really arrogant to talk about this in front of the camera. Why? Well, then let me tell you this. <clears throat> Time is valuable, and if you have like um. A, let's say a reasonable amount of money and you want to make the best out of it, then I don't think that it's going to be worth just because you want to like produce the best videos or whatsoever um, to, to like spend your whole day on something that never is going to pay you off. That's like, that's like my risk, like risk return analysis. If I am going to put so much work into the nuts going worth all, I'm going to lose a lot of money. If I actually do some quantity on it and I'm going to like, like, authentic content that actually may, may even like helps most of you out with all like this bullshit giga chat memes there and my ricardo on the background slapping his ass uh i think it's like probably better in the beginning and after that i would probably go more into the quality side but hey it's like the first strategy i have let's see how it works out that's all from me for today sub comment subscribe like please please do me this favor and like push this youtube channel a little bit more forward like i i, I try to not um be much emotional about this but i'm really trying to like grow this somewhere and like every engagement that you can give me even if it's just a little like and a comment great job Ray. i would like i would appreciate it i i also would like to have like conversations about um uh, multiple topics that i'm like approaching here on these videos and talking about in detail in these videos so if you have like other opinions on it please correct me if i'm wrong i'm only trying my best to put out information approaches that most people can understand if you're saying okay this and that is wrong hey man we can always talk about it i'm open to actually change my opinions and mind uh, about different type of topics and so on but please uh don't be like ridiculous and just uh, pure tape constructive critique is always welcome thank you for everything i wish you just a great day and let the gains begin guys make some gains take some actions and don't wait to pop